Timber decking is as popular as ever for creating a versatile and beautiful extra living space in our homes. Decks provide a space to relax, an area to play, a place for dining outdoors, an extension to our living space. Wood is best. Timber is still our most adaptable and only truly renewable construction material. Properly protected, it provides the perfect long life, low maintenance and economical choice for our decking. Timber also has a natural beauty and warmth, making our deck look and feel attractive. New for 2005, QDEC products are available as FSC certified. The Forest Stewardship Council is an independent association that operates to ensure that forests are well managed. This provides you reassurance that the timber is sourced from properly managed forests and can be traced at all stages of supply, from the forest to the end user. For further information and details of QDEC retailers who are registered to sell QDEC products as FSC certified, call the QDEC hotline on 0800 849 6339. What is Tanalith E Extra Treated Timber? Tanalith E Extra Treated Timber provides us with an economical, versatile and long-lasting material for our decking project. It is pressure pre-treated with the latest generation wood preservative, manufactured and supplied by Arch Timber Protection. This provides total protection against wood decay and insect attack and a long and low maintenance service life. It can be used with confidence for both in and out of ground contact applications. And the extra provides built-in water repellent protection. Tanalith E Extra Treated Timber is used by Hopping Softwood Products to manufacture their QDEC range of decking products. Designing and building a low-level domestic deck to an acceptable standard of construction, appearance and performance is well within the capabilities of the DIY enthusiast. However, for the construction of decks over 600mm above ground level or for commercial decks, we do strongly recommend employing the services of an experienced professional deck builder. Tools and Equipment the following is a list of tools and equipment that you are likely to need for your decking project. If you do not have all of these tools, they can be hired for the duration of your decking project. Fixings To match the long life and low maintenance of your decking timbers, high quality corrosion resistant deck fixings are recommended. A wide range of professional deck fixings should be available from your decking supplier, including bolts, screws, nails and various brackets. Safety first. Before we start our project, just a quick look at some of the safety aspects we should always remember. First of all, we recommend the use of safety glasses when using power tools and a dust mask when cutting timber. Also, when cutting timber, work in a well-ventilated area. When handling and working with timber, wear gloves wherever possible. Always use good hygiene practices when carrying out DIY projects such as this by washing your hands thoroughly, especially before eating or smoking. Take care not to burn off cuts of treated timber. Do not burn treated timber off cuts in barbecues, cooking stoves or grates. Dispose of them safely as refuse. If you are cleaning your deck, wear goggles. Wear goggles when pressure washing or scrubbing decking area with cleaners or restorers. During the project, keep children away from the work area until the job has been completed and tools have been safely stored away. A consumer information leaflet for Tanalith E treated timber, which covers its general use, is available within the document section of this CD. Updated versions are always available from the Arch Timber Protection website. www archtp.com This illustration highlights all the QDEC components that are used in deck construction and will be referred to in this presentation. A leaflet detailing the full range of QDEC products is available within the document section of this CD. Notice that the subframe is made of several components support posts, support beams, joists, noggins and newel posts. One particular thing to bear in mind 
is that the deck boards run in the same direction as the beams and across the joists. Deck board designs. The QDeck range offers varying deck board designs to provide a wide variety of choice. Some boards have plain, smooth surfaces, and some offer a combination of smooth and profiled surfaces. The width and thickness of deck boards also varies. Generally, the narrower and thinner deck board designs will require more supporting joists to support the boards within the deck design. Your choice of deck board design will therefore have an influence on your subframe construction. Advice is available from your decking supplier or refer to the joist spacing within the document section of this CD. Newel posts, post caps and balusters. The QDEC Plus range offers a choice of newel post, post caps, handrail and baluster or spindle designs. These can be traditional turn posts, handrails and spindles or more contemporary straight posts, rails and balusters. Fixing methods for each are slightly different, but the basic principle remains the same. Newel posts and balusters or spindles, together with accompanying hand and base rails, form an attractive feature or barrier around your deck. Our deck design. Methods of deck construction vary greatly, depending upon the components used and the design and size of the deck. For the purpose of this presentation, we will be constructing a double-beamed, single-level subframe on support posts over a sloping site. The deck will also have newel posts, handrails and balusters, a combination of smooth and profiled deck boards, and will feature steps down into a garden area. Many of the construction methods we show you will be able to use or adapt for your deck design. There are six basic stages to building our deck. Planning and designing. Preparation work. Building the subframe. Fitting handrails and balustrading. Fitting deck boards. Fitting steps.